children that I can't solve alone. It's called toxic stress. It builds up inside, increasing the risk for lasting health issues. Learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress at first5california.com. Killer nutrition, always organic. Dave's Killer Bread, bread amplified. It's your journey. Own every mile in the all-electric Hyundai Ioniq 5, 2023 Motor Trend SUV of the Year. Lease an Ioniq 5 for $4.99 a month with $7,500 EV lease reward or get $3,750 total savings. See your SoCal Hyundai dealers. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley, a Marine veteran just surrendered to police in New York after a deadly incident on a subway train. New details about the charge he's facing just ahead. Good morning, I'm Carlos Herrera. The pandemic era immigration policy, Title 42, expired just a few hours ago. Now, tens of thousands of migrants are at the southern border trying to get into the U.S. We're live. Good morning, I'm Erin Myers in downtown. Today, the LAPD will be giving an update on a triple homicide. Three women were shot and killed back in January in Beverly Crest. All the latest coming up. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Looking for the perfect gift for Mother's Day before Sunday. Well, California Flower Mall is busy, but we're going to tell you. <laughs> we. I mean, oh, Cap busy. Captain Obvious over here. <laughs> yeah, the, the Flower Mall's busy, but we're going to be there live. Wait, you mean the Friday before Mother's Day? Why <laughs> would it be busy? Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New year at 8 o'clock. Uh, she is the siren of Salem and has been doing it for half a century. The queen of soaps. Deidre Hall on the way here live. I hear the uh, Flower Mart uh, also gets busy on Valentine's Day. Not 100% sure on that, but uh, we'll see and get it confirmed before the day's up. Today's weather forecast, 65 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 72, 82 in the San Fernando Valley. Get a little breezy out in the desert area. There. You can see the Morongo Casino camera bouncing around. 85 inland Empire High Desert, 89 Orange County Inland, 77 degrees. That's it. Let's go to Ginger in traffic. Oh, you learn something every day. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good morning, everybody. We still have the signal or the situation that continues on the 110. And let me tell you, it will be here for a while. It's been here since about 2.20 this morning on the 110 northbound side. So right at about that 105 is when that trash truck caught fire, smashed into the sound wall, and then spilled a whole bunch of trash into the roadway. The thing is, as you move slightly farther, so the right lane blocked here, but as you move farther north of this, in the left lane, we do have a brand new crash that's here. And remember, because of the commencement ceremonies that take place at USC, now of course, the big ceremony starts at about 8.30, then all the other schools later on, but that just will mean heavy delays along this 110 freeway already busy because of the situation. Five freeway, let's take you over to that northbound side. So always a tough, tough spot as well. Tight squeeze, I was going to say. But a real-time traffic map to show you north at Imperial Highway where there's a wreck in lanes. You see it. So that is stacked up from Imperial Highway and no break all the way up to at least that 710 freeway. That's a pretty long stretch. Well, watch it. If you like Telegraph Road, maybe a good way to get around it. I'll send it back to you. Developing news here, the pandemic era immigration policy known as Title 42 has expired. Now thousands of migrants are hoping the U.S. will grant them asylum. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live in Murrieta with more on that. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning, Frank. Hundreds uh, of undocumented immigrants are expected to be bussed in here to the detention center uh, in Marietta later this afternoon. Officials here this morning saying they're really concerned about the lack of resources to handle this influx. Take a look at the video here. Hundreds, if not thousands of uh, migrants rushed to the southern border last night to try and meet that deadline. Uh, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security says that's exactly what they planned for, what they expected with Title 42's expiration. The pandemic health policy allowed for the swift expulsion of migrants with very little penalties or consideration of their claims for asylum protection. There were millions that were expelled under this policy, yes, but more than 1.8 million have been allowed to stay temporarily until they actually face immigration court proceedings. Now that it's all ended, 
They will have a much longer process to go through before possible deportation. U.S. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas spoke with CNN. We've been very, very clear that there are lawful, safe and orderly pathways to seek relief in the United States. And if one arrives at our southern border, one is going to face 